I'm Mary Boyle. I live in West Roxbury, less than half a mile from the West Roxbury Crushed Stone Quarry, where they blast every week. I found out in the fall of 2014 that there was a very high pressure pipeline going to be built right next to the quarry and I was pretty angry about that. I joined with some other people in the neighborhood and we started vigiling on Monday evenings. Um, we went around to the neighbors and tried to tell everybody what was going on. Uh, we stood outside the grocery stores with petitions and we tried to visit Senator Markey and Senator Warren's office and the mayor and the city council. In the end, the city council did have a resolution that was opposed to this project. That's right. uh, the mayor stated his opposition. Eventually, he came out and stood with us once. Um, and the, the two senators, Markey and Warren, eventually did write letters in opposition. Uh, but in the summer of 2000. 15, after we had been trying to do all that education and protesting legally, we found out there was something else you could do, and that was <laughs> <laughs> civil disobedience. So uh, that's when I met Marla. Um, up till that time, uh, construction had started in Dedham, but it hadn't started in West Roxbury. In September of 2015, a judge in Boston gave Spectra permission to open the streets of West Roxbury too, and that's when I started standing every day, Monday to, through Saturday, whenever they were working from eight to nine, and people joined me. I would have been awfully lonely if they hadn't, and I would only have been not even a ripple in anything if they hadn't, so that's the important thing is that people they how joined long, in. How long were you out there? How many days? Uh, Weeks, months? Some, from September 2015 to when, Bill? Bill stood out with me. December 2016? Yeah, December 2016. January they started, 2017, they started operation. And I think we then went down to one day a week. Yeah, in January 2017. So. So thanks to Bill, I was able to keep on doing it. As I said, it's very lonely when you're by yourself out there. And your, th your thoughts about today? I am very happy that the necessity defense can now be put up in a headline that, that it won. And that all of these wonderful people in their statements, which drew tears to my eyes today, were so beautiful and so on point and said such truth and that that truth has to be spread. We have to disturb the complacency of our society. While we have you here, I just think we all want to say thank you for being a champion of this Yay! position. would have been very lonely if no one had joined me and a lot of people joined and that's I'm very grateful for.